guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Today, I am so, so excited. This one is going to be a good one, guys. I am here joined by Torin. He's currently 12th in the world. It's been a long time. Serbian Pro back on the channel. Torin, what's up, man? Yeah, a lo long time indeed. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here again. Uh, it's been a long time, definitely. So I hope this video is going, going to be good. Yeah, dude, I think it's definitely going to be good. I am looking at uh, some of your replays here. We have some treats in store for your, you guys. We have Yersin here. We have a Morton replay that just happened that we're gonna show you guys, and we're gonna do some live matches. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing video, guys. I'm super excited. Yep. But Torin, I gotta ask, man, you're still playing the 3.8 uh, giant skeleton deck, which you are so famous for. Before we get into the deck and its place in the meta, I, I have to ask you. You took like a break from the game, or at least a break from ladder pushing for quite a long time. Uh, why? And, and why'd you come back? <laughs> We're happy to have you, by the way. Yeah, well, the Despicable Gru is back again. <laughs> the, the last video we made, there was a lot of comments about, about my voice, and they were positive. So, yeah, I, I took a break for like two or three months, mm -hmm. because I, I, I just have some private stuff. I had a lot of stuff going on college i had work and i was not bored with the game i'm still uh, i'm playing for almost three years yeah. and it's amazing to me how i didn't get bored of the game because every time when i play i feel like it's my first time uh, day of playing dude that's so cool you know, to hear, like man. adrenaline rush and stuff like that especially when i'm like in top 20 30 50. so you know just the, the there was a lot of stuff going on and yeah uh i i, I was uh, a, bit down with my college progress and everything and I just wanted to put it aside for some time so I could manage the other things and yeah, man. everything worked out pretty well and I, uh, I had like a dozen of people asking what happened and am I coming back so uh, at the end uh, one of my friends from my hometown he like talked me into coming back and he took my phone <laughs> and reinstalled the game so I started oh, playing heck again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank it's you for that to, friend. Really Do you want to give him a shout out? What's his name? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's actually in my mother clan, uh, the Serbian forces. His name is Smox, so uh, All right. shout out to Smox. Big shout out indeed. We're so happy to have you back, man. We love your enthusiasm for the game. You know, you, uh, you missed uh, quite a bit. I'm sure coming back now, obviously you're having tremendous success. Uh, but, you know, there's also Elixir Golem. There's also Battle oh. Healer. Before we get, you know, to the deck of the live matches and the Morton replay here, uh, what do you think about these two new cards? What do you think about the meta? Yeah, my coming back into the game was real like i don't know thrill to me be, there, there was a lot of things going on like uh, we had a few new cards we had at the time when i when i came back which was op that was like yes a, okay so a few months ago, ago yeah yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the first go elixir golem well i don't know what, what to say about it uh, th that card is really strong but it's really strong looking from my perspective because i'm playing my deck and i don't know Someone, someone who plays Pekka, I don't know, finds it uh, maybe a lot, a lot easier to play because it gives like four elixir when it breaks up. But sometimes the, the that deck is usually like very cheap, 3.5 or six or something like that, even cheaper. You have that version with with uh, Ice Wizard, Tornado, and Baby Dragon, so it's hard to keep up. But yes. once I establish uh, a right cycle, and if I have a good cycle at the beginning uh, of the game, it, it's not that big of a problem. Okay. The, the tiebreaker tie uh, knows, knows to be a problem because the last minute of the match, it's a triple elixir, so uh, opponent usually keeps spamming uh, elixir golem on the bridge, so if I don't have a Tesla or Tornado and Baby Dragon in my rotation, like, it, it's, it's done, it's game over. So okay. you just need to keep track on your cycle, on your cards, you don't... I mean, you can afford to make a few tiny mistakes, but every bigger mistake is going to cost you a tower. Literally. Okay. And are you changing anything about the way that you play this deck because of the battle here on the Elixir Golem and stuff like that? Uh, well, I made a change maybe two weeks ago. I maxed out my guards finally, so I put them in instead of Goblin, Goblin Gang. Notice that, because, yeah. Yeah, uh, when uh, Barbaro got those few nerfs, uh, log got like increased in usage so it, it, it was a problem yeah and i know i know players who who are playing like uh still giant double prince and a lot a lot of decks that they have or arrows like i mean arrows still kill kill guards after 
the the, the last three work on them. But guards uh, have a better synergy with the rest of the cards than Goblin Gang. Sure, you're going to have a bit more prob bit more trouble with uh, some flying cards. I know with Lava Hound, but in 80% of matches, guards are better than Goblin Gang. Okay, I like that. I like that response, and I like showing love to guards. Even I think that some people overreact to like, oh, arrows can kill guards. Guards are dead, you know. But arrows still have like, yeah. like you said, a what a four percent, three percent use rate. It's not like you're running into them every match, you know. Uh, yeah, as I said, log and zap that they're yes. uh, a lot more used than arrows still. Mm -hmm. Well. I want to go ahead and go over this uh, this Morton replay before we jump into the the main matches. So, want to go ahead and sure. kind of walk us through that match? No problem. In three, right. one, two, three. Boom, done. I like it. All right, so here we go. You're in the bottom. Morton's on the top. I'm sure. Did you see the Morton Surgical Goblin match from Sierra World Finals? Yeah, I did. It, it, I, I watched through the whole game. I mean, the, the whole CRL, and okay. it, it, it was really good. Insane. So, yeah. So go ahead. Yeah, Morton is playing a cheap, like, giant Night Twitch Minor Cycle. And some would say that I have the hard counter because he doesn't have that much of an air counter, but but he ju just cycles so fast that he can outcycle my zap and mm -hmm. he can, like, play uh, two rounds of bats uh, in, in, like, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds less. Yes, yes, okay. So th th this was a tough one. I, ha I had to, like... Uh, be aware of his magic archer because as you can see in this uh, very moment he he yep. placed the magic archer on the tower and he just does so so much damage and he has also has a minor and that, that that's a bit like scary so, but so you decide here, to go in there is it just because he played the magic archer you knew he yeah, only had he bats? The yeah so and i knew that i could defend because uh i had tesla in my hand so if he plays giants i could defend with tesla and he decided to play Minor and three skeletons on bridge, so I waited for the skeletons to come nice job uh, waiting to my there. tower, and yeah, just tornado them to to my main tower. <laughs> and now you're giving you're giving them some grief here on the uh, the tower takedown. So what do you? So what's going through your mind right now? You you know you have this match, kind of, maybe not. I don't know. So yeah, but yeah, but still, I knew that I have to defend, but I was like 50-50. Should I attack or should I defend? And here I. Uh, new. I, I just predicted that he's going to to play his magic, magic archer. archer. He's going to to try to get some chip damage. Uh, and uh, in the beginning, I wanted to defend, but as you can see here, I predicted his minor, minor with, my with a Tesla. Tesla. That was really and well played there. It, yeah, you can see that he uh, logged my guards. If if I place my goblin gang, goblin gang would be dead. But uh, guards survived because of their sh their shields. So he he's going to to make uh, push here again. He's going to build up with Giant and his Night Witch. Why do you cycle and, that Miner at the, at, the, at the bottom there in that situation? Yeah, I told you, like, my plan was just to defend. I, I played Giant Skeleton so I could uh, damage his Giant and destroy the Night, uh, Night Witch. Uh, but I told you, this this deck cycles so fast that he, like, got to do another Giant. <laughs> another Giant, but, yeah, okay. Yeah, the fun thing is I actually, like, made it. I, I defended against this Giant. But uh, th there, there's the magic archer. Uh, he Ooh. outcycled me a bit, and he he made like all the damage on my tower. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that that strong oh. cycle kind of got you, but you decide to go in here with the balloon. Yeah, because again, he he played magic archer on the bridge, and I knew that he had only bats, and unfortunately, I missed some of the bats. But uh, balloon gets ahead. Here's a, a small misplay by him. My my Tesla was still up, so. Uh, Tesla kind of dragged Giant into going my main tower. So, at yeah, this moment, I, I went so aggressive, I went uh, hard in the pain. Tag would say that. So <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so it, it was either I'm going, I'm going to take all or nothing. And yeah. here uh, I got some nice value with, with the tornado and, and bomb damage, the dead damage of Volum and Baby Dragon. They, they finish finish off the match. Yeah, very well played there. Very well played. And I felt like, you know, one thing I noticed in that match, too, against probably, like, definitely one of the world's best players, not probably, definitely, uh, I noticed that you you didn't actually use a ton of, like, defensive, uh, or I shouldn't say, you didn't use a ton of combos with the giant skeleton bomb with the NATO in that match no. specifically. Is that something that you don't do as often anymore, or is that something that was just that match uh, specific? Well, he had uh, a cheap cycle, so... Okay. When I tornado 
uh, cards that are bomb, I usually tend to like destroy as much of as opponent elixir as possible. I think the more expensive cards, but he only had like a knight switch. He had a uh, magic archer, which which players usually uh, play. Uh, a lot more like d distant than than the bomb and the giant skeleton, so there was not much I could like, Value like there. Okay. pull to the bomb. Yeah, and the, okay. he had bad three skeletons. He had two small spells: minor yeah. giant, night witch, and magic archer. But yeah, I hope we'll have some live matches with elixir, <laughs> elixir golem. I I do that pulling all the time. Okay, I can't wait no to see it, man. To yeah, you're one of my favorite players to watch live. So let's go ahead. Why don't you search now? It'll probably take a while, and we'll come back at my audience yep. when we find a match. All right, here we go. We have a match. That was a long wait time, but here we go against Dynamite Swan. What's your starting hand, Mike Torn? This guy is usually playing Ice Bow, so I hope uh -oh. he's not. He switched to something else. You were just telling me in the downtime that there's only one matchup in this entire game you're afraid of, and it's Ice Bow, right? Yeah, definitely. You, you, if you make just one mistake versus that bad matchup, you, your game is lost. Yeah, because he has NATO, obviously. He has Rocket. NATO, obviously, Rocket, Mega Expo. Minion, Ice yeah. Wizard. Yeah. He can he can play it, he, he can play uh, Expo on his part of the field and just build up like a massive advantage. So you have to defend. Okay. Uh, you, ha you have to attack and then defend okay. all the time. All right. So it, it does give you the advantage just waiting, right, though, in a matchup like this? Like you just did. Oh, he goes with knight, oh. so maybe not the traditional. No, actually, he, he's going to play graveyard. I think. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So log is one of the situations where those guards help you out against that log, right? Instead of the yeah, goblin definitely. gang. Uh, I, I mean, if I had goblin gang, I, I couldn't play it like bef behind, behind my yeah. tower. Yeah. But, like I did just, I, I played all three guards behind my tower. So only if he has arrows, uh, he can he can kill them all. Mm -hmm. All right, so here 35 or so seconds uh, remaining inside the right inside regulation or inside single extra time, excuse me. So what's your hand right in the second? Giant Skeleton, Balloon, NATO. Tornado Tesla. and Zap. Zap, Tesla okay. plays the next card. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's uh, a bit sketchy situation because if I play my Giant Skeleton, he'll be able to graveyard the Baby Dragon, me on the opposite lane, so... But yeah. here comes the double time, so let's you go for try it. And do gonna, okay, so giant skeleton in the back. And here, here we go. Oh, Expo! Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. So he is playing Ice Bow with the knight. Yes, he is. But the good news is you get to double extra time without taking any tower damage. The bad news is he has Rocket too. And he might just Rocket this. Let's see what he does. Oh. No, he does. Okay. He doesn't have Rocket, so he's playing my bad. Me forever to identify that he's just playing like 2.9 with uh with ice. Oh my god. <laughs> that that was a lot of elixir spent on his part. And just because of one mistake, he, he played uh the uh I played the minor in position which players often think that they can like tornado, but mm -hmm. they actually can. Mm hmm Nice. Now you're going with a minor right on that expo. Tesla is down. Your Tesla's yep. putting in work. So nice job defending there. Thank you. Now this is it's tricky though because he still has so many count. This is like the worst matchup humanly possible for you, right? His whole his whole deck counters your 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 win condition. So what are you trying to do here at this point? Uh, you don't even know. <laughs> if you play my deck, you you often find yourself in a, in a position where you. Don't know actually which card to play, so he's going to set up a new expo. He's going to play tornado. Mm -hmm. When I play balloon, so I, the only thing I can do actually is to try and predict, predict something. Okay. So okay. he's going to have to play tornado here. He has it right. But okay. he didn't play it on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or he'd... this situation could could have been like much worse. Yes, yes. You still have damage advantage. Are you trying to basically react and chip yeah, away but... and get to, to get to a draw? I'll try and chip away, but he has a, a rocket, so I won't be quite able to do that. Yeah, that's true. It's true. God. <laughs> he goes with the rocket on the tower there. 
Now he has no rocket in hand, so you're just gonna attack immediately here. You have uh, enough elixir for the miner. Miner goes in. You have enough for Zap. Zap goes in. You get to that tower there, but he's back to Tesla again. Oof! If only that balloon had killed that Tesla on that one shot. Yeah, but it didn't quite happen. Yeah, and because how can the, you, the, yeah. the very combination with, and I just couldn't afford that. That. Knight getting a shot in my tower. Mm -hmm. That that buff to to the to the uh, knight was also very big, like five percent HP yeah. is something that you don't want to see. Nope. And here you go in with that. Uh, Zap is down. You're getting some ship damage, but is it gonna be and enough? I won't get is it? Oh my <laughs> god, dude! Oh my god, man! How? How? <laughs> So yeah, even if he had a log and used it on my tower, it wouldn't be enough because max log takes 123 from your tower and I had 128. Wow. All right, so, well, well played. Uh, you just beat the most difficult matchup. How often would you say you usually beat Icebow? I told you, like, if I played 10 matches against a player who actually knows how to play it, I would win maybe two. And okay. it would be probably, I, I wouldn't say sheer luck because uh, you're going to have to use your giant skeleton more offensively. You're going to have to pull knight with tornado or use your miner to uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, pull the knight backwards so you can get some damage with giant skeleton or just, you're just going to have like to chip away with yeah. miner, baby dragon, whatever. But still, yeah. uh, as you could have seen, like it doesn't give you the advantage because he is just going to defend. He has two building, he has tornado. Yeah, because I, it's, it's crazy. You're, 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 yeah, you're going to rely on your opponent's mistakes. Yep. And he made a few, not too big, but yeah, at the but end, big they, enough they for you to chip away. Yeah, well, well played, man. Let's go to another one. All right, guys, we are into the next game. Log bait. All right, sorry, was a, <laughs> that was a, such a long match that I, I stepped away for two seconds and you found a match. So log bait seems like a difficult matchup. Is it? Yeah, it is. I mean, it'll, it'll probably uh, depend on... Which building is he using? Is it Tesla or is it Inferno? The Inferno Tower. So let's see. What do you see. mean? What do you mean? Like, which one is better for you? Uh, Inferno, definitely, because okay, uh, I'm able to like. Oh, this was well played. <laughs> Just making it more interesting, Tor, and I, I I appreciate that. All right. So uh, y you can counter uh, Inferno Tower with Miner plus Zap, mm -hmm. but you, you can do very much against Tesla, so. That's true. I really, I'm really hoping that it's Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower, okay. Yeah. Do you think that, Although, the, do you think that the Tesla version is just stronger against, in general, in terms of log bait? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's definitely Got you. more viable for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so Force use a giant skeleton there on the left. You're gonna see his defense now, probably right Okay, he lets the baby dragon lock on, he goes with knight in the left lane. Halfway through regulation, here you go going with the miner. Yeah, I tried, tried to kite the knight backwards, but it didn't work out, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, so you go with the guards, he goes with princess, but he actually was able to not have to use his, uh, his defense there. Let's see. Okay, get that activation, nice defense. Now you have the test yeah, there. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's too late for the activation. Yeah, I'm not that's true. Anything by <laughs> he, that. has, he has rocket as well. Hmm. So I'm probably going to just try and storm him. Okay. And defend this one, but yeah, but he has rocket. Rocket, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. He forced a lot of elixir out of him there, though, obviously, in the left. Let's see if he goes. Okay, nice Tesla there. I thought he was going to go Princess at bridge as well. Yeah, me too, but it doesn't matter if, if you yeah. get the Princess or not. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the Tesla is still going to, to make work. some damage. Yeah, yeah force him to use, in this case, a Knight. All right, so 13 seconds left. You obviously need something big here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I need a miracle. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is rocket there, but you're actually going to keep that balloon alive. But he has a Tesla, and it is Tesla, and he has it in hand. Unfortunate there. You... Hmm. 
nice and out. Yeah. Yeah, I saw he's going to, to play this one a little bit backwards. So mm -hmm. Yeah, he has test line. He's just just trying to get some log damage on my tower and end the game. Yeah, two incredibly difficult matchups back to back here. Curse of Ash definitely coming in strong. You go with just a zap there on defense. We're still gonna need more than just a rocket. Giant skeleton's still going strong, but unfortunately not gonna get to that tower. It just feels like a matter of time, uh, right? But you're doing a good job forcing him to at least use rockets. Oh, at least use rockets on the, uh, the the defensive end rather than offensive end. Nice baby dragon there. Nice zap as well. You get a guard. You get a miner. Get a baby dragon on that tower. Are you kidding me? Dude, you did it again! <laughs> oh my well, god, it, man. It, it is what it is. Oh this my was, word, this is the most insane matches ever. <laughs> what were you talking yeah, about? You just, with my deck, I mean, a lot of people ask you me don't if give they up, right? <laughs> Go try ahead. my deck. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's the first rule. Never mind which deck you're playing, you don't ever give up. I mean, if my opponent like takes one of my towers, if he takes the other one, I'm not going to surrender. I'm not going to let him like, get the third one, although, although I know that I'm going to lose probably. Yeah. So that, that's the first rule, don't mm -hmm. surrender. Then the second rule is... And search for uh, a match, by the way, while you're talking. Go ahead. Yeah, well, so you don't... If you play my deck, if you decide to play it, uh, and I encourage people in doing that because you should try some new things. You should try new decks, I don't know. Yeah. So you'll often find yourself in a bit tricky position. Uh, sometimes you won't have the right cycle. You won't know which cards to play. But with time, you're going to see how the deck actually works. You're going to... Uh, learn the interactions, you're going to see which cards uh, synergize with the other one. So, and you're also going to have to make like uh, a lot of predictions, as you can see. So, here yes. we go, Anaban. And here we go, yeah, Anaban. Oh boy, so it's Balloon Freeze, I think. Balloon I don't know freeze. what he's playing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, all right. I wanted to ask you one quick follow-up though before we get into this uh, these plays. <laughs> is is Anaban definitely one of the most feared ladder players out there? Is is there one card that you kind of learn to use differently over time in this deck? Is there one card that like when you started the deck that you, you you'd say you use quite a bit differently than you used to? Tornado, definitely. Tornado okay. is uh if you ask me one one of the if not the, the strongest spell in the whole game. Okay. And why how so... don't you use it? Like what changed? Yeah, w w when I started to, to use Tornado, I only used it for like, I don't know, pulling the troops backwards and now I can I can activate my King Tower with, I don't know, Hog, Magic Archer, Electro Wizard, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah, I, I learned quite a lot like through the game and everything. Okay. So I'm just going to zap this, I'm not going to let him kill my Giant Skeleton because my tower locked onto Inferno Dragon and I'm going to go all in over here. Okay. He's probably going to pull this because he can't afford, yeah, Giant Skeleton going to the tower. Yeah, this was quite good defense by him. Yeah, very good defense. But you do get that balloon death damage, so not bad. And yes, a, lot, a lot of minor chip damage too. <sighs> Question <laughs> is, I believe he has uh, a small elixir advantage. I believe you might be right. <laughs> So, yeah. And I imagine you're I believe... always, always saving Tornado in this matchup, just knowing that he has uh, Yeah, both, freeze. both Tornado and Tesla. Uh-huh, yep. But also he has, like, Inferno Dragon, Baby Dragon, Tornado and Freeze, so... Yeah, he has a lot of options but, for you as well. Yeah. This is going to be a tricky one. It seems like, uh, it seems like this matchup, you're going to be relying a lot on minor chip damage as well. Here he goes, left lane. Ooh, nice Tesla. Ooh. What are you trying to see if he would use a freeze? Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, really long delay, but nice job. Yeah, I, I was thinking that he's going to, to play it, like, definitely. Yeah. Uh, my, my test level was a bit... Like, uh, I, I placed it in a wrong position, but okay. still it worked out pretty well. Yeah. And let's see what can we do from this one. Okay. So, he, he's going to... to play freeze over here i think he's gonna, he ooh, should he be doesn't. playing it so he's gonna give you another not connection but death damage yeah that damage all right let's see what he does here is he gonna hit you opposite lane 
Man, he's being very patient. It's almost scary. Yeah. <laughs> Anna right. is, is a really good player, actually. Yes, yes. Ooh, Ooh he, lightning, he has... no freeze. Well, so that's why he's not freezing, right? <laughs> and uh, as I was telling you, this is the position where people often Always think minor. that they can pull, pull the miner on the tower, but they actually can't. Okay, so here we go now. It's bowler so down. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should have kept quiet about that, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, right now it's ruined forever. It's okay, no one watches my channel. We're good. Alright, so zap to make sure the Inferno Dragon doesn't live on, or does it anyway, it does, okay. Alright, so big push coming in here potentially, but Giant Skeleton Bomb definitely helping you out there. Actually gonna kill almost everything. Guards are down, and let's see what Anaband does here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just have to, to play a high Tesla and save Tornado. Mm -hmm. And possibly Baby Dragon, but... I, I'm feeling quite comfortable for now. Yeah, so because I'm, like, I'm going to get a huge bomb that yeah. value over here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'll just be able to zap and I win this game. That's GG's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he shouldn't be There's able not to. Enough time, to... yeah. Yeah. Nice job, too. Just nice, nice work. And you keep applying enough, like, one thing to mention here is you keep applying enough offensive pressure that you don't really give him a great opportunity necessarily. To, he doesn't have enough elixir ever to lightning like on that very first push. You didn't even have enough elixir to lightning your uh, your Tesla. So you let that balloon connect. No big deal. He's only gonna get one hit. Yeah. And that's gonna be a GG's. Wow. Well played, man. Against Anaban, definitely one of the better Thanks. players. I'm glad that he I had Tesla. He, he, yeah. Yeah. He he switched to lightning. I don't know why. He is famous. Yeah. He's uh, famous for yeah, balloon he, he's freeze. Or balloon freeze. So Indeed. I don't know. All right, well, hey, you want to so do one more, man, and then I'll do a match? Sure, no problem. I mean, are you still recording? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're Let's still go. live, man. We'll come back at you guys when no. we find a match. Here we go. All right, here we go. Next match, we are in, and you were just saying uh, that you have a new Twitter? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not that new. It's, it's the old one, but okay. I reactivated it, so... Oh, okay. It's people willing to uh, learn how to play the deck and they have some questions. I just want them to know that, that they can write to me there or uh, if they, they want any advice about deck or anything that they could just write me and I will be eager to, to respond. Awesome, man. That's really cool of you. And it's, it's like you're one of those players out there that definitely has like a, I don't know, I don't want to mischaracterize it, but like you really have like a lot of pride in this deck, you know, and you, a lot of passion for it, I guess, yeah. you know? Yeah, definitely. So definitely, uh, you know, an awesome guy if you're looking for a deck that's that, that really is strong in pretty much every meta, right? Like you've always ran this deck, right? It's, yeah. Yeah. It served me well. Yeah, it's it it's probably not, well. not not the, the best deck in the game, but it, it's quite good. It's consistent too, right? It's like... Yes, it is. Yeah, there's no meta where you're like, I can't play the deck at all, you know? All right, so uh, yeah. you're going against 2.9 now. How does this compare to... It's obviously much easier than... Or not much easier, it, but a bit easier than Ice Bow. It's, it's a bit easier, but still he has like... He Tesla, has Tesla, Fireball, he, Ice Fireball, he, yeah. he has Knight, he has like a billion HP, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the, the Knight has a billion HP, yeah. I think that is statistically correct, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so I just wanted to get rid of those archers. I made a small mistake because uh, when I was attacking the last round, I thought that he had three skeletons in his hand, so I wanted to zap them. I mean, it, it's it's a high risk like mm -hmm. game. If, if if you get that prediction, you're going to like win. win. If you don't yeah. get, it, you won't. And that's it. Oh, so that zap that you did earlier was just a prediction? Try to get giant skeleton to the tower. Yeah. Got you. All right, so here we go. He has Tesla in hand, but nice little attack here, forcing him to kind of defend, and he used a fireball, so that was pretty good. Gives you a nice elixir advantage. So do you switch That's lanes here, or what do you do? No, I'll just I'll just play uh, Baby Dragon over there, so I'm going to try and destroy the Tesla. Okay. So I think he's going to fireball now once when I play my balloon. 
Oh, nice. Zap. Dude. Yeah, he's going to fireball now. Okay. So I'm going to wait for my elixir to fill so I could play giant skeleton. He looks like the safest options when facing these kind of decks. Yeah. Yeah, you play and, giant skeleton a lot, you know? I've noticed. So I believe he's just going to try and... I mean, I would try to defend if I was him because I know that I, I can I can win on him, like, in the triple elixir. He just needs oh, that's true. to yeah. another test slot. Nice. And right. he, he gained, like, a lot of... Uh, he, he just gained a lot of HP adv advance at the beginning, so that's not good for me because he's just going to log and put Exbo plus Tesla in his defense, so... Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to do much, to be honest. Okay. Alright, so here comes a big push. He's going to fireball this. You have Miner in hand. Miner goes in. Miner's going to lock onto that tower. You go ahead and... Yeah, again, getting through the fireball and the... Uh, fireball and the Tesla is going to be incredibly difficult. So you got a preemptive Tesla there. He goes to the defensive expo. Yeah, th this was what I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah. So now you have like 50 seconds in triple elixir to try to make something miracle happen, right? Yeah, miracle again. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, we've had a couple of them, so let's go for three. <laughs> let's be greedy. He has another Tesla again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how are you ever going to do this? I guess you can't, right? I mean, no, I can't. Never say never. We've learned that. We've learned that. How oh, dare yeah. I doubt you? Frantically trying to get back to another Tesla fireball. He does get to the fireball. Tesla's locked onto your balloon. You go a giant skeleton. 17 seconds left. 16 seconds left. Zap goes down. Oof. Just relentless with the fireballs, though, on his part. Yeah. Yeah, ah. I made a few mistakes at the beginning, so yeah, that's what, could, what cost the game. Yeah, what could you have done differently in this match? Like, what was it in the beginning? Obviously, that that, that damage early you said was was significant. Uh, but what what else what else would you have done differently? Could you have done differently? Well, my my uh, starting cycle hand was a bit sketchy. Okay. I believe my giant skeleton was not in the first four cards, so I had to play guards and then balloon. Okay. Uh, he got some damage over there, and mm -hmm. then uh, he got some more damage when his X ball locked after my giant skeleton like died. So I didn't quite catch up with that one. I am and in a I mean, match now. Go ahead, though. Keep talking. Yeah. I'm playing. I'm let's, playing the Torin deck. Let's see how you do against Kevin Lugo. Yeah, still, man. You couldn't have asked for better live matches there. Okay, so he goes oh, with. Oh, go. He goes with a safe spot. So, uh, would you minor it, this? It, yeah. Uh. Well, no. Oh. I mean, you have to to get your. Yeah. That that was a quite good minor, to be honest. Okay. It ended up working out, but now I know what he's playing here, and I guess. Would you have played that baby dragon or like I, I want to try to get like one of the thing I want to kind of understand is if I play too aggressive or if I t play too passive, you know? Uh, you, you, you can start pushing like the other lane. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the, I mean, that's the one second delay. The, yeah, Inferno Dragon. If he plays okay. his Goblin Barrel, uh, I don't think he's going to play it in the safe position so he can try and Tornado. Mm -hmm. Now you can tr try and push the other side. Oh, oh my bad. So he goes with the, uh, that didn't work out very well at all, did it? Yeah, now you have Yeah, I'm gonna, okay, so he goes with the activation, nice, nice that's cool. Yeah. So, now the question is, is like, is this gonna get a start princess seeing me at the bridge or not? So like... Uh, I, I don't believe so, because no. if he plays uh, the Tesla on the bridge, you're going to answer with guards, and he's going to have to answer with a log, so it's mm -hmm. five for three. So and in this situation, that, that, what do I do here? So you're just going to go the same lane as the princess. You, if you have giant skeleton in your hand or baby dragon, you're going to play them uh, on the left. Okay. So that that was awful, but I did t I did take care of the princess. No, no. Okay. That that, that was good. If if you kill the princess, it, it is good. Okay, definitely. it's a win. All right. So you're going to, to try if if you watch that game versus log bait, you have that specific position where you can pull the uh, goblin so they don't get a hit. Yep. I screwed up there by playing Giant Skeleton, didn't have enough Elixir. So now he's going to go in with an Inferno Tower. So what do I do here? Do I... Do you have a Balloon Miner? You can Miner his Princess and play the Balloon. Okay. So 
So I should have ballooned the other side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got you. J just got get prepared for another bar uh, barrel. Yeah. So. Okay. I give up some damage there. NATO was a little bit off. So. Yeah, go ahead. You have to. Um, I mean, if he gets a few more hits, he'll probably start playing Princess and Tower, but uh, on the bridge. But still, I think you can believe this one. Uh, win this one. Mm -hmm. Now is a great time for a uh, balloon and miner on the other side. Yeah. Okay, he rockets again. I should have probably zapped that. My bad. Probably yeah. I, in the hip. Uh, hit watch there. out for the princess on the bridge. Yeah. At that one. So now. Uh, so you you'll just have to play zap preemptively sometimes. Okay. That's it. That's the, the uh, tiny bit prediction you need. Okay. So get prepared for it. yeah. Here he comes. Okay, so now... And guess... now you can try and play balloon the other lane. Yep. Zap. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, this is tough. All right. Yes, it is. All right, all right. But I've learned one thing. Just, just start once more from the back, yeah. Oh, okay. And say your tornado for... Yeah, then. That was good. That was a really good tornado. Right, so so you, you, can, you can try and play the balloon same lane as Scout. Uh, the other lane Scout. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Go on same lane. He doesn't. It. Uh, darn. So now he has uh, NATO, which is no good. I mean a rocket rather. There we go. Okay. We got to the NATO. So he plays in Inferno, the same lane. Ooh. What did I do wrong? No, no, that was okay. a nice app. Okay. Nice. Not a lot of damage, but only and now I have to kind of go in here, huh? Yeah, you should play the Baby Dragon and uh, pull the princesses with the tornado. Mm -hmm. Zap. Boom. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Me, you can do it. Give me something you can here. Do it. Give me the connection. You can do give it. it to me. Ah. Oh. That's it, man. That's it's it. It's okay. Well we got played. it. Dude, well just yeah, like man. you, I didn't give up even though it was looking bad. <laughs> I, I'm right. feeling proud. I'm feeling really proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're an inspiration to me, uh, Torin. Honestly, this so, is such a fun deck to play, man. But like, I felt like I made so many mistakes. So obviously tons of like, you know, room for improvement there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I told you this when I was... Uh, when was when we were making uh, the last video? I don't mm -hmm. know, like a half a year ago, maybe more. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I told you that there, I've been playing this deck for two, almost three years. So there's always room for improvement. I mean, I can improve more. Yeah. And I just need to work hard. I constantly watch my replays, watch my matches. Uh, it's not important if I lost or won. You're just going to uh, sit there, watch the game, see where what. Which mistakes did you make? So, and yeah, you're just you're just going to analyze the whole match and yeah. Uh, in the you get future, every time. You... yeah, man. Yeah. Well, dude, thank you so so much for coming back on the channel, man. It's been an absolute privilege to have you. I felt like this is like a really really incredible video. I'm really proud of it, and I'm really happy that you were able to come back on. Any shout outs or anything before we let you go, man? Uh, I would like to give a shout out to my to my clan, serving forces, to all, all the members over there. We, we're we're like uh, one huge family of 50 members, so Love that. I, I just wanted to give a shout out to them, to our leader, Karlslund, and I would like to give a special shout out to one member of our clan who just became a father like a week ago. Oh, so, who is it? Uh, his name is Karta. Karta? Yeah, right. it's a bit difficult to pronounce because okay. of the R. But I'm always, yeah, I always butcher everything anyway. Well, congratulations, Karta, on being a, a first-time dad. That's really cool. And shout out to Serbian Forces. And of course, you can find uh, if they have to, Serbian Forces have like a Twitter uh, account or info. Uh, we or have anything? Instagram. You can join okay, our I'll, Discord server. So cool. whatever. I'll put everything there along with Torin's uh, Twitter account, guys, in the show notes below, along with the deck link, guys. I invite you to try the deck. It's really fun. And uh, Torin, thanks again for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, it's been an honor. Definitely. All right, guys. So I look 
forward to coming back on the channel. I hope next time with some other deck because I've been working on a different variation of Giant Skeleton. I just need mm. uh, two more ca cards to get max, so I hope I'll, I'll have some success with that one too. Are you free to play? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. I forgot that. Awesome. All right. Well, very, very cool. And, uh, dude, thanks again for coming on. I'll lo really look forward to the new deck, dude. We'll make sure we have you on as soon as you get those cards maxed. Maybe we'll even hook you up with some trade tokens or something to try to get you there. And uh, thanks again, guys. Make sure you follow Torin. Uh, his Twitter information will be in the show notes below, as I already mentioned. And a shout out to Stats Royale, where you can see his player stats and profile. Track him towards the end of the season. See how he's doing on ladder. And, of course, a big shout out to Brent Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Thank you for watching, guys. And as always, Take care, guys.